one of every 30 or 40 people that you come across are potentially infected. At least 15 times more Manitobans are infected with COVID-19 now than they were in the summer of 2021. Stark estimates coming from COVID-19 Resources Canada and a warning of what could be ahead this winter. I don't think there's any sign of it improving um, for at least another few months and it's not great right now. Associate Professor at the University of Toronto, Tara Moriarty, is an infectious disease researcher who also leads COVID-19 Resources Canada. She says their data, along with organizations in the U.S., shows that Canada needs to step up public guidance on COVID-19, as the number of cases appear to be approaching that of last winter. I think most of us understand that that was a very serious wave, and um, we're kind of close to that right now. Um, but we have much less awareness, public awareness of what's happening. Moriarty says it's a perfect storm, rising case numbers, new variants, waning immunity from previous vaccines and previous infections, and low uptake on the bivalent vaccine. I think we could see at least as many deaths, for example, as we've already seen during Omicron. Um, and, you know, that's going to depend on how fast people get infected and how much they're protected. Canada's top doctor says she is preparing for worst case scenario COVID-19 variants. Tam says the worst case is if variants find a way to sidestep the effectiveness of vaccines. When there's broad population immunity, it puts pressure on the virus to find advantages, such as escaping our existing immunity from infection or from vaccines. So this broad range of um, the descendants of Omicron are now being uh, carefully monitored. What I don't like in Winnipeg is that straight line up right now. Epidemiologist Cynthia Carr says there is a spike in Winnipeg's wastewater data that is reminiscent of the early warning sign that led to the city's largest surge of Omicron infections. She says there is potential due to estimated high cases counts that hybrid immunity will dull the spike, but that involves booster shots many Canadians aren't getting. She says clearer messaging from all levels of governments on the bivalent vaccine is required. Things can get confusing, so it would be an ideal opportunity just for a reminder of, you know, what's the best math? shall we say, to do uh, to try to look at the best return um, on that next shot, uh, both in terms of safety and effectiveness. In Winnipeg, Mike Albanese, City News.